And if you could go back 11 years ago and tell yourself one thing, what would it be? A piece of advice. Um, it's, it's, it's a difficult <laughs> question. It's a difficult question because I feel like you need to go through bad things for you to learn. Yeah. I wish I had um, better advice in terms of the, the, the legalities around HR, yeah. around... Um, you know the things that could go wrong like a better recounting at the start um you need to have you need to be able to go to your advisors uh, which i didn't have early on and just say hey look this is you need a sounding board yeah i feel like you need the right people so finding the right people um which i didn't have at the start was a very bad thing for me really um but i don't regret it mm -hmm. right i feel like i i needed to go through it like i said to you you go to you go to all these courses and you listen to all these podcasts and you listen to I don't know something like this or you yeah. might listen to, to something but then and you'll think about it and you hear it and you listen to it you might take it in but you might not act on it act it yeah. right that's my biggest that's my biggest thing I felt like I wasn't acting on things enough um, I feel like I needed to take a little bit more risk in terms of growth earlier on uh, but I my, my my growth in my company has been um it's been it's been great and i feel like now we're at a point where we can really shift things and, and take things to the next level um if you could one thing you could tell yourself what would the sentence be what would the advice be or three tips and then we can like yeah okay. into the real. um the advice and look if, if you want to sort of go down the tips like you need to have great advisors from the start mm -hmm. and have things in place to protect you in business um I feel like you just need to go for it and give it a red hot crack. Yeah. Really. At the start, it's always so difficult. Uh, you need a hustle. You need a, you know, you need to be working those long hours at the start. Yeah. You need it, especially in our industry, like the plumbing and and maintenance industry um, is is so saturated. Yeah. You need to have a point of difference. Um, and and the biggest thing is you need to. For me, I, I felt like. Um, you need it, it's so much it's not so much advice but it, it's more about i needed to have and make the mistakes for me to learn from them mm -hmm. because if i didn't i wouldn't be where i am today and i wouldn't have the mindset that i have today um you need to have a routine to know how to deal with issues and stress and problems and um how to deal with certain individuals or personalities um so you need to be real with yourself uh, you can't rely on yourself that's probably something that I, I did a lot I, I felt like I needed to take the wall the, the weight of everything onto my shoulders when it's I could have delegated no it's not yeah. healthy at all yeah. it's not right um, and I needed to learn how to trust yeah my staff um, I know that we've gone more than a couple of things but they're, they're, they're things that <laughs> no they're, um, they're, 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 they're probably things that I wish I knew how to do earlier on because it would have helped me drastically uh, right sure. from the very start for sure